These are the days of the new tube army. The next level. Bring it on. The next level. These are the days of the new tube army. There's a badass gang in town. You others better face the facts. You'll take on anyone. See you at next year's pack We fight in cyberspace Reality's such a drag Foot soldiers of the net And YouTube is our plan The next level Lock and load The next level These are the days of the YouTube army Back today is Monday, December first, and this is episode one twenty one of Noob Tube Weekly Independent Podcast, where I am playing a great new game where I can kill people and steal their houses for hideouts. Hmm, is that uh, Grand Theft Auto? No, 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 no. See, it's totally different. It's like it's, it's this open world environment where I go around and I pick up missions and I and I finish them to unlock better weapons, just like GTA. No, okay. See, so it's different because it's got these other things, but it has this. Well, wait, it has malaria! You didn't hear about the mar- malaria DLC that's coming next month? No. God damn it! I'm Tobin Kozire. And I'm Yuzo Watanabe. And this week we are talking about Far Cry 2, The Legend of Spiro, Dawn of the Dragon, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo Remix, Donkey know. Punch, Hayuken Edition, <laughs> and uh, the new Xbox Dashboard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Our new releases include Prince of Persia. Is that what Jake Gyllenhaal is that Yeah, yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal just like being all sexy. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kingdom Hearts, Chain of Memories, Mushroom Men, and GTA 4 on the PC. Yes, and as always, we'll finish up with site news, community news, and culture. Let's get started with Far Cry 2. Far Cry 2. Oh, um, oh, 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 I'm like oh, malaria. Oh, hold on, I need malaria to just, Oh, oh. Oh, oh my vision is clear. It's, it's amazing, isn't it? My, What's your malaria malarial level? It just went it, down to it two. It just went down to nothing. That's, that's nice. Um. <laughs> Far Cry 2. So this one, uh, this was one where for the last, I guess, three weeks now? Um, probably three or four. Three or four like weeks, that, yeah. people are just like, hey, you guys missed Far Cry 2. you got to go back and play Far Cry 2. And it's almost as much as Resistance 2. Resistance 2, the, the fans out there that really want us to play it yeah. are a little bit stronger. Yeah. But we decided to play Far Cry 2. We played <laughs> Far Cry 2 because we figured, eh. So... <laughs> Yeah. In the past, they've made uh, Far Cry and they've made Crisis. Yes, and, now, and when you say they, it's a totally different company. That's the, that's Sorry, the, the that's weird right. thing about that's this, true. right? That's true. So they had uh, what is it? So Far Cry, then Crisis were all made by Crytek. Yes. Who then went on to make uh, Cry, Cry, Crisis War, uh, Crisis Crisis Warhead. Warhead right. um, and then you know Ubisoft says, "Hey, we have the Far Cry license. We actually own that particular license. You guys can't do anything about it. Yeah. We're going to make a different game." Yeah. Which is weird. I mean, you wouldn't think that, you know, I think they, I, I think they use the same engine. I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. Um, um, but what's, what's really interesting about it is that you and I were both very underwhelmed by mm. Far Cry and Crisis. Yeah, I know. Uh, they, they tended to have pretty linear storylines. It wasn't as open world. Mm-hmm. Um, we really didn't like the suit 
minutia no, no, on, no, no. on Crisis. Far Cry was just kind of more of a straightforward plot-based shooter. And it was okay. It had its it moments, but it definitely wasn't one of those like huge, like, oh, I remember playing Far Cry. Yeah. It was so awesome. You know, I never really said that about Far right. Cry. It was like, eh, it was okay. So um, this one, they threw all that out the window. Yeah, well, kind of, because you're still doing like the wilderness stuff and all that, yeah. but they threw like like the main premise behind it, right? I Pretty mean, much. So now you are a uh, bounty hunter, kind of, or you're like a government employee or... Uh, uh, secret agent secret of some agent. sort. You're basically some in dude. Africa yeah. trying to take out a weapons dealer. Yes, the jackal. And you've got malaria. The and jackal. Then, the jackal. <laughs> Did you see that movie with Bruce Willis? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I don't remember being very good. But um, um so in like you're kind of this guy and you're and you're saying, Okay, like you you have malaria, yeah. you like the jackal finds you, so it's like fuck you, do whatever you want. But then you have to actually work against these other factions, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. Because you'd go and say, Okay, I wanna I think they're fighting and they're doing stuff and you want to do missions. Use Africa, everybody's yeah. fighting all over the place, yeah, nobody yeah. knows why. Well they're not giving you like candy to yeah. each other. It's not, yeah. not a it's not nice. Not, not a nice place. So it ends up being a first-person GTA, like it's seriously, it, it's really interesting. Where uh, you know you've got this whole world open to you, and on the world are these little checkpoints where it's like, here's a guard center, yep. here's a uh, gun store with missions, yep. here's bus uh, stop to go to different areas on the map yeah. really quickly. Um, but you do you do also use vehicles. Yeah. It's not like GTA in the sense of um, you know you have cars, of you know vehicles all over the place. You pretty mm. much have to go to specific points of interest, and then you find the cars there, right. or, the, or the guys like bad guys come up to you and try to kill you. Right, right, right. right. But, and, and you can also get to the point where your hideouts will always have a car for you. Yes. Uh, you can go pick up stuff there. And like sometimes you know, boats. Sometimes boats. Sometimes hang glider. I fucking found oh, a hang glider. Oh, I haven't got that far yet. Is it, is it fun? Is the air mechanics? It's actually pretty cool. Really? It's okay. actually pretty, the only problem is you can't look at the map when you're on the hang glider. She's like, I have no fucking clue. <laughs> I'm you over see the some tundra. <laughs> I'm just like, you know, just trying to get like the Lion King to lead my ass. Yeah, it's somewhere. just like go somewhere. But um, like, so what do you think about the game? Because I mean, I love it. Really? I love it. But, I'm having such a good time. But you with don't it. like Far Cry. No, I hated Far Cry. And like, well, I didn't hate Far Cry. It wasn't interesting. Yeah, in and Far GTA Cry. GTA Four wasn't that. Like, what about the open world aspect? Well, I mean, that added to the FPS. It's all the good stuff about about open world. I mean, like you know, Saints Row Two is an open world game. True. Uh, all these other things. Where I just really like that you this this world is so well made. Like where you you get these AIs that will actually kind of like hunt you through the bush, and mm-hmm. like they'll be doing these missions, or they'll be driving around, and you can ambush them. Yep. And the, the whole thing is just you're you're totally free to do whatever you want, pick up new missions, and you know in that way, I really was having a good time with it. Interesting, because like the way because this is going to be one of the more interesting conversations yeah. we have about games, but it's just like. Uh, the more I played it, like I, I definitely the best thing I liked about the game was kind of the, the sense of feeling I really was in Africa. Yeah, which is which is kind of unreal, right? I mean, you're going like, okay, I'm in the brush, yeah. and you go and it's like, oh, I'm in a canyon because I see all the edges, and it's it's very you know transparent that I'm playing a video game. But this one, like, I'm driving, I see bushes. Yeah. It, it's pretty intense, the, the actual level design and all that. The realism of the engine helps with that. I don't yeah. know if you got into the point where you'd be throwing, like, Molotov cocktails mm-hmm. at enemies and stuff. The fire spreads like fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> there is... Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Whoa! in a game, that's like a bold water? statement. In <laughs> okay, a game, that's check. a bold statement. Because, I mean, a lot of times you'll throw it and it'll be like, boom. But, I mean, this is just mm-hmm. like the first time I threw a Molotov cocktail, I'm like, haha, I killed that guy. Oh, oh, fuck. He's like, I'm it's standing like, on brush. Yeah, there's this tree burning, and then it just starts spreading in every direction. Then, and then the, the fire spread into an ammo depot, and the ammo depot oh, started really? shooting bullets everywhere. And then it was, like, knocking the town Holy down. Shit. It was, like, burning cars. Like, I fucking... I know another game that was really, like, they really talked about their fire. And, yeah. like, it was alone in the dark, right? <laughs> I mean, when you say, like, this game has awesome fire physics. Uh, I'm just saying the reason it felt like you were in a jungle is they yeah. put so much work into this being a world. Like, this mm, world was, like was cohesive. Physics. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. And, yeah, there, you know, like, I like that. I was, like, sitting around and, like, the voice acting was really good. Mm-hmm. Kind of the storyline, they kind of hook you. And I was, yeah. like, going, this is awesome. This is great. Then I started doing the missions. Okay. And what I found was, you know, again, I only played about three or four hours until I kind of got a little tired of it but it's yeah. just like mission mostly consists of go to this drive to this point which takes you about five ten minutes and it's yeah. sometimes it's interesting sometimes it's not kill a bunch of dudes mm-hmm. when you're done come back then go to another mission kill a bunch of dudes well you usually don't have to come back that's the nice thing right yeah, like, sometimes you do but okay i didn't not have always. any of those but i mean okay. like a lot, a lot of times it's just I had to pick up like my payment you know that kind of shit yeah right? Um, but and that's, and that's what kind of bothered me. It's just like you know, like, and I understand that there's some games out there that's like we're killing a bunch of dudes. That's the main part of the game. Yeah, that's all you do. But like the way that they make you do it, you're kind of in a jungle, mm-hmm. and there's all sorts of brush everywhere, and they pop up out of nowhere sometimes. Yeah. It's just like I didn't find it particularly fun. Wow. Like what? Yeah. You know what I, I mean? I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I mean, like the thing is, is even when I'm beyond those missions, it's yeah. not like they're like get there in five minutes. 
yeah. but like get there eventually and kill sure. this dude. So I mean, like I'd be going, and on the way I'd be picking up, like I'd be looking for diamonds. Like you get this thing with a GPS, you That's find the diamonds, cool, yeah. or I'd buy a better weapon, or I'd be like trying to kill people in different ways. You know, I get like a rocket launcher, I get yeah, a yeah. sniper rifle, I get this other stuff, and I'd be like, you know, taking over hideouts and taking over bases. And <sighs> so you kind of like the, the the amassing of of of. Areas? Maybe that's, of I think it. that might have helped, helped a lot. I kind of like the diamond. For some reason, it's like it's a really stupid mechanic where you bring up the back and like a little green light pops yeah. up and it's like you point the right direction, it goes solid, you're like yeah. woo, and then you finally find it. But it's like for some reason that particular game element was kind of one of the more compelling ones to me. So, so what, which was what weird. do you find different between this and other sandbox games where the missions are kind of go here, kill somebody, go here, kill somebody? I think it's the, the, the kill somebody part is fun. Like when you play Saints mm. Row, the combat of that game is really fun. You're blowing up shit. Yeah. You're like throwing people. You're throwing bums into, into various shacks. Yeah, yeah. And they kind of like do that, but they also have driving. And the driving to me for in this game was a little bit of a chore. Hmm. Because, right? Because, like, they would put the spots where you had to go for, like, maybe five minutes at, at times. Yeah. And I'd be driving, and I'm like, okay, th- this driving isn't very fun because I'm like, I have to follow the path. I'm looking at my map, uh-huh. you know, and I'm looking for the green dot, uh-huh. making sure that the light would come up every once in a yeah. while. It's just like, all those bits were just like, wow, it kind of feels like... I know it's a good game. I know. I know it's solid. Yeah. I know it's and it's well produced. But it's just like the gameplay wasn't really there for me. I, I had more fun with Mercenaries. Mm, interesting. You know what I mean? Because I was blowing shit up. Yeah. The, the actual act of going and killing people were a lot more fun to me. Yeah, I mean, like you know? the, the the one of the only complaints that I did have was that. Uh, you would go and clear out these enemy bases along the roads to yeah. get to other places, and they would respawn. Yeah, that kind of bugged me too. That, yeah. was, that was like hmm. that is the only thing that kind of stuck in my craw because what I really <laughs> liked was that I felt like I was taking over this area where I was yeah. just like I am fucking bringing down the law. I am coming in, mm, and I know, see. And, yeah. and the thing is, is I would you know like sometimes I'd fail these missions because I was playing it, yeah. and you know they'd be like blow up this convoy. Mm-hmm. So I go and I'm like. All right, fuck! I'm gonna you know kill the jeep and I'm gonna blow up the convoy, whatever. And then they'd kill me, and I try a different way, and I try mm-hmm. sniping, and they'd kill me, and then finally like I hid behind a rock with a rocket launcher, yeah. let the jeep come by <laughs> and blew up the fucking convoy. And it's like mission accomplished. I was like, fuck yeah! Huh, you know, so interesting. Like, I was kind of just playing around with like finding different ways to kill people. Because that because that's actually kind of one of the the hallmarks of the series, right? It's mm-hmm. just like the same thing with Crisis too, mm-hmm. where it's just like okay, what they do is they make points of interest, yeah. and the whole idea behind the game is to use your suit or use the various things to have a a flexible entryway or flexible way to solve the thing and like yeah. I didn't like that mm. and it felt very similar to me it's just like okay here's the Far Cry um, what is it philosophy yeah. we're going to provide a, a, an open area and you can find your way to solve this particular problem yeah, yeah, yeah. and for some reason it, it was almost too open ended wow. where it was just like eh but I mean, I think, I think that we've kind of seen that pattern in the past that like, yeah. I really do enjoy like the exploration open – like the yeah. world can be as open as possible and I, I tend to like it because I'll be dicking mm. around like – I think it's the briefcases, dude. I think it's the briefcases. The briefcases really like. help. I'm not going to lie to you. The briefcases <laughs> help especially because you're unlocking weapons directly. Yeah. Like, like I was finding gems and then those gems would go like – I was like – all right, I'm going to get a silenced pistol so I can sneak up on people, pop in the back of the head. I'm going to go get a sniper mm. rifle. I'm going to go get a better rocket launcher. So like, they're they're doing collectibles gonna... right. Collectibles are right, yes. and I really liked how every single mission, there were ten different ways to kill all those dudes. Like, you really? could go in guns blazing. You could grenade it. You could burn them out of the village. See, maybe like, that's my problem because every single mission, I would say, I would basically, I would try to be the sneaky way, and yeah. they'd all, always see me, mm. no matter what. I, and I'd be like, you know, walking around the edge, and this guy, little blip, like sniper guy yeah. starts shooting at me, and I'm yeah. like, what the f-? like the stealth mechanic about it didn't seem very, very good. Hmm. I don't know. Did, I mean, were you able to do missions stealthily? Because I, I was, couldn't. I was, I would, huh. I would, I would. I mean, the thing is, is like in the bush, I could see that they would always see me. Like a lot of times, yeah. I would, I would approach their places from behind rocks or something yeah, yeah. where they definitely couldn't see me, and the AI was good about not seeing me. Oh, see, that, so, they would, they would see me because oh, I was behind brush. Yeah, I'm behind a tree. Even if you're crouching and shit. Yeah, crouching. Wow. See, I, that's the thing. If it was more stealthy, if it was more successful, I would have liked that. I mean, I even got to the point where I would come up and pop up on top of a rock and I'd snipe somebody. Yeah. And then I would immediately put my gun away and run to the other side. They would all come and investigate where I was. Oh. And then I would fucking take up. I mean, like, like the huh. AI acted like people. Like, they acted in a, in a way that you could kind of play against them. And you, you could actually see that. Because, I mean, that's the and thing. they're talking to each other. Like, I can't yeah. see him. Hold on, cover me. I'm reloading. Where's that fucking guy? And, like, come out, asshole. You know, like, they're yelling and, like, the AI and stuff. So I'd... See, I had a very different experience because yeah. I would be up at the top of a hill. Uh-huh. And, like, I know I just would have just shot and killed somebody. Someone was like, where is he? Where is yeah. he? And they would do that for, like, five minutes. Yeah. And I'd be walking around. i see some guy. And he, he wouldn't come up. And mm. I'm like... Eh. Yeah. So, uh, I because the thing is, all, everybody that that loves the Far Cry games, the Crisis games, yeah. they talk about that aspect. They talk yeah. about, whoa, dude, you can do everything twenty different ways, and it's really cool. And I never see that, and I don't huh. know why. 
Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen it before. So, I mean, this was just the first time I ever really kind of dove huh. into it and, and felt that way. Maybe about because it. Crytek was, wasn't in charge this time. It could be. I mean, like, not having to micromanage my health and shit really mm-hmm. made me so much happier. Like, I love not having to do the suit. Really? Well, no, just, the health, what you're talking about before is just like, to me, it seems like it's too easy because no matter where you'd go, you'd find a water bottle, you'd find a little health thing, you'd find ammo. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant my, my, my like, speed and gotcha, gotcha, armor gotcha. and whatever. But like, see, that also kind of turned me off because I'm, I'm playing games like Dead Space, uh, sorry, Dead Space, I'm playing games like Fallout where everything kind of matters, uh-huh. you know, where I like have to get, you know, like I have to conserve my ammo, I have to do something different because, yeah. you know, whatever, but with Far Cry, it's like no matter what, when you can get back to your safe house, when you can get back to any, any area, you can always refill all your shit. That, it almost made it too out, easy. It, it turned out later on that wasn't true. So in the beginning, mm, everything okay. was there. And then later on, what happens is each guard post has a certain thing. So one guard post would have only grenades. One guard oh. post would have only ammo. So it's not like you could ever just always restock. And you'd actually have to start being like, fuck, if I want to refill with ammo, I have to drive back through this other guard base. That doesn't sound like work to you? Does no, I, I mean, it was, it was like you had to, you know, you had to actually be smart about your resources and like, you know, not just going to blow all your ammo and shit. So. And, and that's why I want to like, give this game a little bit of a pass because I think if you play it in the way that these sort of games are supposed to be played, yeah. you probably have a lot more fun. But yeah. like for me, just wasn't feeling. Uh, it. I'm gonna have to give it a thumbs down. Like rent it, and if you liked Far Cry, yeah, then like the original Far Cry of Crisis, you you'll probably like this game a lot. Yeah, and I I didn't like the original Far Cry, and I love like Saints Row and that kind of open world. Place. And you like I, this I really, game? Really wow, this, it. Is, yeah. this doesn't happen very unusual. often. It's an unusual. Look, uh, remember yeah. this. Uh, that's right. So, so um, that is that is Far Cry. You're too. gonna keep playing it. Absolutely. Absolutely, wow. I'm definitely going to keep playing it. Because I was playing it for about three four hours, and I'm like, look oh, at that. F- I wanted to mention the buddies. Oh, I, yeah. I love the fucking buddies. So the fact Why? is... Why? Because you don't just die and reload. So if you if you get a buddy, if you get mm-hmm. two buddies, um, what happens is one of them... I got the girl and the guy that... The guy that saves you and the girl that, that cooks you up with, uh, with the, um, the meds. Yeah. Okay. So so what'll happen is if you go to your safe if if you go to a safe zone, they'll be hanging uh your your house, yeah. whatever it is, your store your storage house, they'll be hanging out there and if you go out and die in the field, they run out and they come and save you. Oh. Um and like if you if you die, they'll bring you back to life uh-huh. and then they'll actually be there fighting with you. And then oh. um, and then and then you know, they'll go away again and yeah. then um as as soon as you if you died again, you're dead for good, but if you go back to your safe house again, they'll respawn kinda, there. Oh, so you always get this kind of like free pass if you die in a firefight where you've got a buddy that will come oh, save your ass. Interesting. So that's so so one of those things that take away from the like, the obnoxiousness yes, of, of, of retrying and retrying. Every time, yes. So do you pretty much like pretty often die die for reals, or was it most of the time where you you got your buddy saving you? Almost always I could I would die, my buddy would save me, then I'd be like Fuck! Like I need uh. to approach this in a more careful way because I don't want to have to reload. So, I mean, like I really like the, the buddy mechanic was nice. A lot of games are doing that these days. Uh-huh. And, and one of the things that I thought Your was really shouldn't be shitty. Your yeah, death shouldn't be like fuck. I lost an hour of gameplay. Mm-hmm. Fuck! I'm angry. It's just like death should be like I could do this better. Yeah, I can do this better right now. And and not the question of like I need to drive five minutes again to get back to the old exactly. area or do do stuff that's not fun. Exactly. Which so is so the good. buddy is kind of like you fucked up. Yeah. We saved you. Try that again. Interesting. Because so like I noticed there was one thing during the buddy sequence where um like I saw her, I rescued her, and yeah. then like she was like sick, and you're like, okay, you could either kill her. Yeah. <laughs> Or give her a surrender. I'm like, I've got five surrettes. Why not? Yeah, that was weird. They're like, yeah, you can what's put the them deal? out of their misery and shoot them. You're like, but what's the benefit of that? Like, they save yeah. your ass. I, don't, I was wondering that too. Like, maybe there's a point where like surrettes are really like you have to make a choice. Yeah. Like, do I save myself or do I save the yeah. buddy? But the thing is, if you don't save your buddy, the buddy's gone. I know forever, it's forever. I'm like, it's like. Let you your buddy die choice. if you're very bad at video games. <laughs> like if you don't understand this mechanic. Maybe if you but, want a challenge. Maybe yeah. you get achievement. I'll let them die if they get achievement. That's true, actually. Killed your best friend. Zero points, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> well, didn't you get an achievement for killing your sister or something yes, like I that? Yes, I did. I did. In Fable, I killed That's my right. sister for a better sword, and I'd do it again. <laughs> <laughs> that sword was sweet, man. I fucking rape people with that shit. All right. All right. Um, next up. Next up, we have uh, a game oh. I didn't think you would play based off the last game. So... I have a place in my heart for Spyro. There were a bunch of Spyro games from yeah. PS1, I think, and PS2. I never played them. Loved them. They were just really? like these perfect little platformers. They were fun. They were difficult. They mm-hmm. were you know, like good in the Banjo-Kazooie way that we've talked yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. So like you put them in the pantheon of like under Ratchet, above Banjo sort of thing. Like uh, at the, About the same level about as the Banjo. Same level. Okay. I mean, cool, cool, cool. Um, they're, Banjo's they're, good. Yes, so. they're very, very good. They're very good. Really? Um, All right. So what happened is over time this evolved, and then the last one they came out with had David mm. Spade, and oh. we reviewed that. It was just not fun, but it was it's still terrible. cartoony. Yeah, yeah, It was just cartoony and shitty. This yeah. one... This one, okay, 
Legend of Spyro: Dawn of the Dragon. Yeah. Some shithead went and tried to make Spyro of War. Oh, are you kidding? The God way- of the Dragon. <laughs> Dude, so many like Sonic did that shit last. Like we talked about last week, Sonic I did know. the same thing. What what's the deal? So they took the game, they made it super, super, super dark, like really dark, like next gen dark. Spyro's like cute. It's supposed to be all cute. So there's like, <laughs> you're for no reason at all. You're in hell, and there's this huge fucking Wait, demon what? monster like coming after you, and everything's all dark and dripping and like. Dude, dude the last Spyro was super cute. Yes, it was like a super baby Spyro, basically yes. like. So this one now what you have like hell? each you have four elemental attacks and you're with Cinder who has four elemental attacks and you change them with the left stick you'd be like fire or poison or wind or whatever so you can like attack by button mashing or you can pull the trigger and use your fire or your poison attack or whatever and it's all like combat like brawling almost basically. all brawling no platforming ah but oh, there is oh. some platforming okay good 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 and. It has far and away the worst flight mechanics I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, so mm. there's these points where you're supposed to go from platform to platform, yeah. and I thought that I was doing it wrong. I thought that because I mean I would I would jump up and then like sometimes I was trying to get to a high platform and and he would dive or mm-hmm. like sometimes I'd be trying to go up and he would go down and like you know the the controls would be weird. So what I did was I jumped off and started flying and I took my hands off the controller, and the dragon was like. It was it was like moving like with drafts or something in okay. the air. It was just kind of like floating around. So, one of the best elements of platforming is learning how to use the controls, <laughs> how to get from point A to point B very well. Yep. You don't throw in random wind elements hmm. on finicky control movements where you're just like, you know. So what are you supposed to do? Counterbalance? I don't what? even know. <laughs> like I would, you know, I would. What I ended up doing was like trying four or five times. Yeah. I'd go and he'd just drop to the ground. I'd run around. He'd go and he'd make the jump, and then you'd go and. Is like, it like a double jump move, or is it just you're actually flying? You like, fly. Okay, gotcha. But gotcha. you can't fly up when you want. If you hit the fly button again, he just kind of goes forward or does like rolls oh, or whatever. Weird. But you can't, like you can kind of go up or coast down. So they added a random element to a platforming yeah. primary control, yes. which is like. Yeah, that's yes. really bad. And all huh. flying did in that game was make me angry. Like, they could have done it so well, and every time I had to fly, I'm like, no, go there! Go there! And I was telling Adrian, because she was like, why are you getting so mad? And yeah. I was like, in a platformer, the main thing with a platformer is you solve the puzzles. Yes. And you're able, like, that's the hard part, right? Like, the, yeah. the hard part is being, a, like, it's not supposed to be just well, doing it. Well, no, but, no, I mean, some platformers, like, you look at Super Mario, you look at even Tomb Raider, some aspect, right? A yeah. lot of it's, like, dexterity, right? You got to do your timing right. You got to yeah. do your, but, but all the controls are consistent. Yeah. Like, they exactly. don't throw a random it's, element to it. It's, it's not like one of these things where I'm like, I know that all I have to do is fly from point A to point B, and the yeah, controls yeah. are so shitty that this is what's <laughs> making me angry. I'm like, I have to go here, climb that, get to here, get up there. I'm like, I'm looking, I'm like solving the puzzle. Yeah. Like, I need to get from here to here, and the controls won't let me do it. Ooh, but so, like, how, what's the proportion of, of, of platforming to combat, though? Is it like half and half at it's, least? Or? It's, like, it's like a quarter to a half of platforming, like really not much platforming. Wow, so they really fighting. push the, the, the fighting, fighting aspect. Yeah. So, okay, I got to ask, is there David Spade? No David Spade. God. In fact, they made a Thank joke God. about it. <laughs> so, like, the, the little Firefly dude shows yeah, up, yeah. and th- he's like, how you doing? He's like, and th- now he's like some weird black dude. He's like, oh, I'm fine, but my voice keeps changing. <laughs> it's like, really? <laughs> it's like everybody... Maybe they couldn't afford him anymore. That would be sad, because I could afford him. <laughs> I could have David Spade sucking my dick right now for what's in my wallet. Probably. Probably. <laughs> So this game sucks. It made me wow. fucking angry. The fighting was shitty. They tried to rip off God of War. The platforming was shitty. They fucked it up. Do you think there's actually people out there that, that like love Spyro so much that keep buying this game? I have a feeling that we're not going to get any comments on YouTube saying that I'm wrong. This game is that bad that I swear <laughs> to God, everyone's going to be like, yeah, I love Spyro. I hate yeah. this game. It's going to be like Yaris, right? Yeah. It's going to be that level. Like, of... just this game. It Ooh. just it's Is it going to make your worst, like your fucking Ninja Bread Man level of bad? It's going to be up there. Like, it made me that angry. Where it was just, oh. it wasn't even just that it was so bad. It was just that the, they, they'd left the franchise behind, right? Like, yeah. they, they got rid of the humor. They got rid of the, mm. the cutesy kind of, like, fun. It's like, imagine if they made Mario, like, really high res and, yeah. like, gritty like Duke Nukem. <laughs> You know, it's just like, like, Peach is a whore, you know, just like, fuck you. you know, that's, yeah, imagine like Mario yeah. saying fuck. That's like what they did in this Ooh, franchise. That would feel really weird. Yeah, he's like, no, 
You know, they did the same thing to uh, The Prince of Persia, which we're going to be talking about um, in our new releases. Yeah. Like, so they did the first one, and then they just basically took, uh, what was it, the two towers? Ta- I forget, the, the two princes or whatever. But they the two towers? Yeah, I was two towers. <laughs> no, no. It was like the second or third one, The Warrior Within or something yeah. like that. They basically turned him into an emo fucktard. Yes. Right. Yes. And it was just like it was. It was still kind of fun platforming, but sure. I'm like, this story really sucks. Yeah. You're like, stop sudden. crying. Yeah. I'm hoping to find the handkerchief in this level, <laughs> so you'll stop weeping like the crow. <laughs> Probably, but I'm really hoping they didn't do that with this one. This, I, the, the new we'll one get there. We'll about. get there. I'm, I'm thinking they didn't. I think but yeah, just awesome. like stop. You, you, you can't take a character that you grow up with and expect because those people are going to be people that buy it. Right. You can't take the character and basically just change him entirely. Like like uh, Sonic last week, right? Yeah. Why are you making God of War Sonic? It, stop it. Sonic, like, God of War is killing the gaming industry. <laughs> there is a God of War. They're really good at making God of War. Yeah. Leave it alone. But, dude, there's so many God of War clones. There's, like, remember the, what is it, the Conan <sighs> game? Yes. The Dark Sector was, well, that was more Dark shooting. That was, a, that was a Gears clone, right? <laughs> Yeah. But, yeah, it's just, like, just everybody's trying to make a combat. Stop it with it. You know, it's just, uh, like, the same, like, you know, like, hammering a button to open yeah. a door and the quick time events. And oh, yeah, just, stop with the quick time Stop, please. Um, so, next okay. up, uh, we're just going to real quick talk so about. So, thumbs down, right? Oh, uh, big thumbs down. Just checking. Oh, wait, I can't make my thumbs down go where I want it to go. Wait, why is it? Oh, the controls are so bad on my thumbs down. Oh, fuck you. Um, NXE, the new yeah. Xbox experience. Yes, yeah, the new Xbox experience. Um, so, like, I'm a little, like, I'm, I'm, I'm conflicted about talking about this game because... everyone's got it. Everyone's got it. Yeah. It's and not like, like if, we, if we gave it a thumbs down, it's not like you can <laughs> opt out, right? Like, the yeah. new Xbox experience... Well, you could if you don't attach the internet. Yeah. Ever. At all, yeah, ever, or don't play any new games because the new games will they'll probably too. ship it. Yeah, so I mean, people, a bunch of people asked us on YouTube, like, what do you guys think about the new Xbox? Uh, so we'll talk real quick about it. Yeah, you know, um, I, I'm overall, I must say, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty, I'm not impressed, but I'm happy. Yeah. I think it's 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 a nice improvement. I, I really like. Um, the little thing, well, not little thing. I like I like the features more than the interface. Like I like the mm. the, ne- the Netflix integration. Oh, fucking big, sick, badass! Like if you look at your friends list at night, yeah, it'll half be like of them. half of them <laughs> will just be like watching Netflix, watching Netflix. I wish it would show the title though. Wouldn't that be great? Right? If you could see like watch somebody and like they're saying they're watching fucking Hannah Montana, you exactly. can get their. Sh- You're oh. like Princess Diaries, motherfucker! What? I'm gonna take pictures of that, put it on the forums. <laughs> Dude, we can totally shoot that I'm shit shoot too. That. Here's my friends list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be like Yuzo watching My Little Ponies no, the movie. No, no. But um, um, so yeah, no. That is awesome. And actually, that is a feature that like a lot of my like my brother, who's not a big gamer. Yeah. He was like, okay, uh, I'm gonna get an Xbox, and I'm like, well, why? He's just like, oh, I gotta get Rock Band. I'm just like, do you know about the Netflix? And he's like, no. Yeah. Also, like, his ears peaked up, and I'm like, dude, it's it's Netflix. And he's like, no, 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 no. Yeah. It's not for me. Uh, it's for his wife. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but the thing is, the selection still kind of sucks. They're which... working on it. They're working on it. I mean, they got like ten thousand movies ripped, and every yeah. day they're adding more. Um, and they're actually adding a lot more TV shows, which yeah. I thought was a, a lot better. But the thing is, like, I actually never use it because <laughs> yeah. I have a Roku box uh, on my main TV, so I never actually watch TV, right. which is the exact same functionality. But yeah. um, so what, what else do you like? The other thing, uh, the, the the other big thing is ripping to drive. Oh, huge! Ripping the game to drive. Huge. Yeah. So this is interesting because a lot of people, myself included, have yeah. noticed that the load times in a lot of games aren't any better, which confuses me. Yeah, it is Why really is weird. Why is that? It's, it's very strange. I wonder like, if they actually put a delay. Like, we know a code, right? So basically, let's say, while 1 to 20 seconds, yeah. load this but shit. But there's no reason for that, right? There's no reason for that. So I mean, like, um, so the thing is, is you got to buy a bigger drive. Like, I got a 20 gig drive, so I'm basically, yeah. I can copy one at a time. Maybe two, right? Maybe. No, uh, I mean, because like, the thing is, is you out of a 20 gig drive, you get like 10 to play with. Basically, right? like, yeah. And each is game all... is about like seven-ish yeah. or something like that. So, so that's I... cool. So it turns off the fucking stupid jet engine oh, CD-ROM. Huge. You can actually hear yourself think while you're playing the game. One thing I heard, though, is that it doesn't necessarily get rid of the discrete errors. Because mm. I was having some... Like, like I have issues Fuck with my Call that. of Duty... I don't understand. I don't know why, but people were saying... So, basically, like, I, so I put Call of Duty 4 on there. Yeah. I haven't seen a discrete issue. And, like, it's pristine. I yeah. still get them occasionally, yeah. or, but I haven't seen them here. But other people are saying that they still get the issue. I don't know like what's... Like, occasionally it's checking to see if the disc's still in there or No, because it only checks it when I never hear my drive spitting. So, uh, I don't know what's up I'll with that. I'll believe when I see it. That sounds like bullshit. To me, honestly, that sounds like bullshit. But I mean, like, but one of the benefits of that yeah. theoretically would be that a lot of times on the Xbox, a, a, an endemic problem is that you'll get these discrete errors, and it yeah. usually is at the worst humanly possible time. Yes, right you're when you're about to finish the four game. Four dudes, you're about to finish the level. You're in the you finale the of Left 4 Dead. You don't get the achievement. <laughs> We had that happen. I know. Like, we've had that happen several times before. It's like, we're at the end of a level, and then it's just like, my shit will die, and I'll come back, and they're like, did you get the achievement? I'm like, 
Fuck! No, and we had spent like three hours basically yeah. before that. God so um, it. it's a little unfortunate. Uh, there's that. The avatars are um, eh. They're okay. They're okay. I, I like the fact that they're starting to make games with it. There's uh, the Kingdom of Kelfings, which is a new Xbox Live game. Yeah. So it actually uses your cool. thing as, as an avatar and you're, you're actually you're doing me, stuff. As you're it you're were. me, basically. <laughs> <laughs> the the, the uh, customization is very nice. Like yeah, it looks when I made like my it. avatar, you have a hundred thousand times more options than you oh, do with yeah. these. But one thing I I, I wish they kind of added was the fact that you could if you could move placement of stuff. So like with the Mies, you can move on, the eyes, you can move the eyes, and, you can, and that actually gives you a little bit more flexibility because you can true. make like so like Zoidberg with his little mm. things, which mm-hmm. you normally wouldn't be able to do. So you can't make unnatural things yeah. in which which just kind of sucks. But the that. nice thing about Xbox uh, is that. That they, they do tend to iterate. So if people complain a lot about a bunch yeah. of stuff, they're going to have a new update and yep. they're going to fix their shit. So it's nice to be able to just drop new dashboards on there. And one, I think, th- oh, oh, one, thing, one thing I do hope, uh, apparently they are going to have an independent video channel. So they just signed the Guild... Yes. Uh, for exclusive. the full exclusive. <laughs> this is so weird. So, Which is like, whoa. Yeah, you guys know the TV show The Guild or the, the no, show web, The Guild. Web, web show, yeah. Uh, it's, on, it's on YouTube. If you haven't seen it, you got to see it. It's, it's fucking awesome. But they they locked them in for like, what, three months or something? No, no. no. So I think it's like four weeks and then four afterwards weeks. they can put it on their own okay. website. But I mean, basically it's exclusive on Xbox for four weeks, which is huge. So I mean, yeah. they're, they're really ma- making a play to become a media provider with Netflix and with their little gaming channel. Exactly. And it's free. Yes. So what I'm hoping, so they also have Rooster Teeth. They have, a, you know, um, what is it? A, b- a bunch of other other mm-hmm. web shows are on there. Mm-hmm. Maybe at some point, who knows? Maybe we'll get a little noob tube on there. Although I don't know how they do that with us <laughs> yeah. cursing like sons of bitches. They'll be like, yeah, we do need they? The age do they? Check well, to... they curse in Rooster Teeth stuff, don't okay, they? Okay, maybe I don't know. Maybe I they don't, don't know. curse in the guild. They yeah, were actually you're right. very careful about that. No. So, uh, so anyway, that's the yeah, new experience. I don't think we need to thumbs up or thumbs mm-hmm. down. It's just it's interesting. It's like, it's, you, yeah, it's basically a th- yeah. What's the point? You, yeah. you were forced to get it. Yeah. Forced to get it. So. Uh, and then last up is Super Street Fighter 2 Donkey Punch Turbo HD Monkey um, Fucker Edition. Cleveland Steamer Edition. Cleveland Steamer. <laughs> <laughs> um, this, is, this, is, this is huge. Yes. I think it's huge in, in the sense of this is finally the, Super, the Street Fighter uh, version online that we've been waiting for. Yes. Because they came out with the, the other one, which was kind of like just the original game. It was, it was a shitty version. The netcode sucked. Which and is like, a problem oh, with it. almost every fighting game, right? Like, what's the yes. biggest complaint you ever hear on fighting games? Lag. 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 You have to be a reaction time of like a tenth of a second to play these games. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not even worth trying. And from my understanding, so I actually didn't get a chance to play online. Okay. Um, but from what people were saying is that they actually said that the online is pretty smooth. Yep, like Sunflower, a couple other guys are like, I played online, there was literally no lag. No lag whatsoever. Yeah. Um, so some of the other cool stuff, so we, you know, we played, you know, like, we played it at, at the Capcom thing. I Loved I've, it. Give the other thing, the local stuff a try. Um, damn, it looks good. Yeah. Right, they added a, a bunch of stuff. You know the On thing like is, an HD TV, like oh. it's just—I mean, all the details are perfect. But not just that; it's yeah. just like they—they they, they got one of the guys who apparently is really good at Street Fighter, um, like like does a lot of tournaments and stuff like that. He actually made this game for tournament players. So oh. there's all these dip switches, all these settings you can do for for stuff nobody cares about except yeah. for for pros. But not only that, you can actually turn on the hitboxes. So you know the, the actual place where you can take point yeah. contact. You can make them visible in the game so that you can do work on your timing. Wow! So your contact points are correct. Yeah. It's it's intense. That's crazy. I'm that's, never gonna use it. That's fucking nerdy. That's like wow, that's like dude. virginity in a cup. Basically, yes. <laughs> uh, that's nice though. <laughs> that's very cool. I like that. Um, and also the other cool feature which I like a lot is the tournament, tournament mode. That is the shit. That is yes. seriously. That is what what an amazing thing to build in this tournament code where yeah. you take eight people. Yeah. Is that eight max? I don't it's even eight know. max, unfortunately. You take eight people and you're like, boom, we're having a tournament. Yeah. Randomizes everybody, makes four matches. I think yep. it's an la- actual ladder too. Yeah. It's just like you know, four. You know, it's was it four people play, two people. All, I think I think they play at the same time. I haven't done that before. Yeah, I don't know if they, I don't know if they do like simultaneous and you watch or yeah. if, like yeah. Well, I don't know. But at the end, but basically you can kind of do that. It's just like it's like they took the quarter mode, yeah. which they also have included, and they basically upped it up a notch. It's yeah. like let's actually get the tournament feel of Street Fighter yeah. and give it to everybody. So they do the ladder, and it's like four, you know, like four matches, and then two matches, and then one match to determine yep. the the king of all eight of you. And it's just like how cool is that? Like you get your eight friends together. You run these little mini tournaments and it's really going to help on NoobTube Hell for yeah. for people to arrange these tournaments where we grab any number of people. Yeah. Boom. Because they can do separate ladders and the winners of that. So actually, you know, um, unfortunately it's actually going to be happening by the time you've seen this but on mm. the 6th. So if you are a regular member of the NoobTube uh, forums, you already know this. You already know this but uh, Sunflower's already set up a special Street Fighter tournament Fuck on yeah. September 6th. So yeah. uh, check out the results. I'm, I'm thinking he might win because he's been he's been boasting he's, he uh, kicks everybody's ass with Gangs Zangief. Yeah. So 
see. Um, and and they'll, they'll he hasn't probably, seen my Vega though. Oh, there'll be there'll be more. There'll be more people playing this shit too. Absolutely. So, um, you know, definitely go to the forums if you want to play against other noob tubers and find the uh, you know, like tell people you want to throw throw together a tournament. Yeah, and this is easily the the best Street Fighter two uh, version that I've seen so far. Yes, absolutely. The, the only thing that sucks is the contr- the the D pad on the controller is yes. terrible. The, Terrible. We got so lucky when we went to that Capcom event. They had arcade style controls, yep. and that is how you play this oh, game. T- that is, totally, you get the little stick and you get the six buttons. You just fucking ah, like oh, that feels so good. I know. So mm. I think you really need a special. Uh, and I think the, the Capcom guys said they're going to actually make a Street Fighter version. They did. I, I haven't seen it. They yet. said that they're going to have their own controller. We'll see. I'll believe that when I see it. But the Hori sticks out there apparently are, are some of the best. So check yeah. those out. Yep. Um, so that is our games for the week. That is our games. So first up, um, we're going to mention... Uh, mini- yeah, much oh. thanks go out to our very f- uh, our first sponsor, PlaySwitch.com. Yeah. Go check them out. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, and please support NoobTube by checking them out. Go uh, use them. So- yes, and what do they do? So they, they, they're they a site that allows you to trade video games. Yes. And it's it's uh, it's it's just for that. So it's not like they do video games and movies. They don't do any of this other stuff. Yeah. They say... Uh, eBay kind of sucks for video games. We're going to build in a trust system. We're going to build in reputation. We're going to let you, for very cheap, for a buck a pop, yep. go and buy and sell uh, used games. Yeah. So go check it out. And uh, the cool thing that they allowed us to do is if you use NoobTube as a promo code, you get five free Switch bucks, which yeah. is the, the currency of the, five of bucks. the site. So five bucks. So free five bucks. Um, what you do is when you go to add money, when you go, you make your account, you go, you know, want to add five bucks, ten bucks to my account, you enter the code NoobTube, they yes. give you five bucks extra. Yes. Very cool. So, so go so check it out. We, uh, we stand behind them. Because they stand behind us. That's right. Doing naughty things. No, no, they don't. No, don't get behind (laughs) us. We don't trust you. So, new New releases. releases. Okay, we have a big, huge game. Yeah. Huge. Are you talking about Mushroom Man? Mushroom Man, yeah. Actually, I was talking about... No, yeah, Mushroom Man. Yeah. No. Prince of Persia, baby. Dude, I've been waiting for this. After seeing that freaking video where they showed the girl saving you and the really cool, like, uh, what is it, the cell shading that they did? Oh. It it's looks sick. Beautiful. And we are going to be playing it, like, tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. It comes out tomorrow. AC- ASAP. The moment yeah. we can get our scrubby little hands yeah. on it, we're going to so be Tomorrow trying. morning, we'll be at the store grabbing this shit. Um, it looks fantastic. You know, like, I'll be playing some video of it here while we're talking. Yeah. It looks like they've reinvented it in a yeah. darker way, but in a good way. Like, it looks, yeah. it looks like they've kind of done... Hopefully it's not like God of War. I'm just really hoping that, that they've <laughs> done their there's own thing. There's combat thing. in the in the game. Yeah, and it's but traditional. You can do right? combat with that. Yeah. What I'm worried about is like Prince of Persia has always been about getting the timing right and getting yeah. everything perfect, and they basically you know made it more casual by having the girl always with you and saving you. Yeah. So you know, we like that. So far, like you know, Dead Space did a really good. Dead Space and Fable Two did a right. really good job with the the, the hint. Yes. Uh, Far Far Cry is doing really good with the buddy system. Very good. Yeah. I'm hoping they didn't fuck this up. It looks fantastic. I, I mean, know. like, from all the gameplay videos I've seen, it just looks fluid. Like, you're doing the running. It looks like a little bit of Mirror's Edge, a little bit of God of War, a little bit of, you know, like, kind of just... If they do it right. Yeah. If Next they... week, you're going to see us. We're either going to be so happy or we're going to be like, fuck you! <laughs> so With Ubisoft, you never know. You really don't. Because with Assassin's Creed, we were jizzing all yeah. over the place about Assassin's Creed. And That's then true. we played it and we're like, Yee. Ubisoft is a big fan of surprise butt sex. Yeah. Surprise butt sex. Oh, you're like, oh. what? Oh! Oh! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Surprise! Um, um, what's next? Grand Theft Auto Four on the PC. On the PC, Big deal. this Big was deal. pretty quick. Yeah. Um, so I think uh, what is it like? The 360 had the, the exclusive DLC, so that was their kind of benefit. Mm-hmm. But it was on the PS3 and the 360, and now it's coming out on the PC. And like, do we care at this point? I mean, if you you know uh, if you don't have a console um, and you only have a PC, you'll be very excited about this. Um, you know, we gave the game two thumbs up. And that's pretty much all we can say. We're not going to play it again, obviously, no. on the PC. And it's definitely not a ten. Yeah, it's not a ten. But it's—I mean—it's—it's it's it's worth checking out if you don't have a—if you haven't played it yet. Yeah. Give it a well, shot. the thing is, like, how many PC games out there do you actually want to play these not days? Not that many, man. Let's see. Left for Dead. Yeah. Uh, 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 maybe Far Cry because it's on the PC. Yeah. I mean, stuff on uh, Steam, right? Like Steam will yeah. Steam, they'll release some stuff. But they're but really, I mean, that's the thing. I used, we used to be PC gamers a lot, but like these days, it's hard. It's slim pickings. It's slim pickings. I mean, like the, occasionally you'll get a nice first-person shooter that yeah. is, that looks really nice on the PC. I it's, mean, they still do look better on PC, right? But they do look better on PC. But at the same time, it's just like you know, the communities tend to form on, on the various consoles at this point. Can't rent it. Can't rent it. Yeah. So um, it's, it's just, the thing is, like, I'm a PC player at heart. So it just it it it, it sad me saddens me that. Basically, it's really a, my PC is now a World of Warcraft machine. That's yeah. all it's really good for. And at this Diablo point. three. Ooh, that's true. Diablo three. Starcraft two. Starcraft two. Uh, give it <laughs> Come on, dude. I don't care. Dawn of War two. Yeah. That will be the game that saves the PC for me. Yep. 
Uh, and then, uh, oh, so Kingdom Hearts. Dude, Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. Oh, wow. I, I love, Kingdom, love Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. They should totally, completely change the formula. Yes, they should, because it was really broken. It was really broken. Yeah. I, I really didn't enjoy the other two awesome, awesome Kingdom Hearts games. Well, dude, when I'm playing Kingdom Hearts, I mean, the first thing I say is, like, why can't there be more card mechanics? More cards. Like, I want to do more yeah. micromanagement. Um, you know, I really don't kind of like being able to swing my weapon whenever I want. No. I want to build up no, cards. I want to use cards to swing the weapon. Yeah. That's important. So this game, <laughs> Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, apparently already came... Well, I mean, it's, it's a remake, right? This game came out... Was it on G um, GBA? GBA a while back. Um, and it's a complete and utter changing of the of the formula. It's, it's PS2. A, yeah. It's yeah. PS2. It's a dungeon crawler, and it's all about micromanagement of resources and cards. So you're going to play it, right? Come on, dude. It's Kingdom Hearts. I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it. I'm going to come back. I'm just saying, don't get your hopes up, people. I'm gonna, I'll be like, you're going to love it. It's going to be so awesome. It's like everything I read about this game makes me think I'm going to hate everything about it, but I'm going to give it a flying shot because Kingdom Hearts, I like Kingdom Hearts, but seriously, it sounds like shit. Are there any games with card mechanics that you actually Not like? Not a single one. <laughs> well, what I, was, what I, was, I was telling you like earlier over I am, just like, look, you know, like on paper... Like, using cards to, you know, that sounds, like, pretty shitty, but it's like, when you read the description of The World Ends With You on paper, you use and collect pins to give you special bonus powers. I'm yeah. like, what the fuck? You have to keep track of fashion in different parts of the city and all this stuff. You're right. It sounds like it something sounds I would hate. It sounds retarded on paper. Yeah. So I give, every game, I give it a fair shot. Yes. So, like, even if I think I'm going to hate it, I'm going to go play it with an open mind, and we'll see how it works. I'm not going to play because I'm not going to play. Well, no, because the thing is, I should play Kingdom Hearts 2. It's true. It's I really true. should. Actually, maybe you shouldn't because then you'll know what a good game is and then you play. I don't know. We'll see. So I'll yes. try that. And then last year, Mushroom Men. Oh, uh, yeah. So this is a platformer. Uh huh. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that fact because they're kind of bringing it back a little bit. It's made by Gamecock, who's having mm. a really bad track record. So the funny thing lately. is, is you told me that I played this at PAX and I can't for the life of me remember it. I think you played a game near it. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was standing near Mushroom Men. Yes. Well, you were playing a Legendary playing, the box, right? I was playing Mushroom Stamp. Oh, that's what it was. You're playing that at home with yeah. your uh, your other friends. Yeah, I think. yeah. With your mom. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> so it's a platformer, huh? So it's a platformer. Okay. So who knows? It might actually be pretty decent, but it's on the Wii, so it's probably going to be a little kitty. Who yeah. knows? We'll see. I mean, you know, Mario Galaxy using the Wii. It's a little kitty. I loved it. But it's so. one of those things where I think if you're going to like get up and play Bolt, maybe, maybe, maybe. Give yeah, us a try. We'll, we'll come back. We'll see if there's another one of these ones where they've dumbed it down so much that nobody in their right mind should be playing this shit. Yeah, um, but but for next week, I'm definitely going to be playing Prince of Persia. Fuck yes. And I'm probably going to be going back to the to the backlog where. All the games people are saying, maybe Resistance 2. Yeah. Maybe. Call of Duty, maybe. Call of Duty, people have been chomping at the bit oh, to play. I like, know. Here's play Call of Duty, it's so it's good. It's Treyarch, dude. Yeah. People are saying, people are saying. Okay, so it's, we'll see. It's better than, than you no think. No promises, but it definitely play Prince of Persia. Yes. So, uh, this is a first for NoobTube. So, this is, that's have the end of the new releases. Have we done this before? Yeah. So, we uh, we wanted to, to tell you guys about a product that we've tried. Yeah, it's a hardware product. So we don't really typically talk about hardware Not really. things as far as I can uh, tell. But, so there's a, there's a design company out there called Astro. Astro Gaming. Astro Gaming. And they are, they've been a design shop for a while. And a lot of people have never heard of them. Like, I've, <laughs> Astro I've never who? heard of them. Yeah. What? So it turns out they designed the Xbox 360. They and the did controllers. the case and controller design. They did this. Like, you know... They, like Microsoft contracted out the design yeah. because they couldn't come up. I guess they couldn't come up with their own stuff. They said, "Hey, go make this stuff." And I'm like, "Wow, I've never heard of that before." And so what they've started doing is they've started taking gaming a lot more seriously. Yeah. And they're like, "We want to treat gaming like a lifestyle." Yeah, but it's, it's not just that too. Remember, like the other companies our time, like like the, you have the the, the Alienware. Mm. So mm -hmm. all the Alienware machines and my fucking Blackbird, my yes. HP Blackbird that I designed, which I love the case. So I'm yeah. like, I'm like, you guys made all this stuff. Yeah. So they've got a good, uh, a good, uh, a good resume. pedigree, yeah, pedigree. Good, good but, but like they're totally unknown. Yeah. So, so they've started making gaming products. They're going to go into like they, they, they really want to treat gaming seriously. We want to, yeah. we want to support that. Yeah. Like because we're, <laughs> they're not, they're not sponsoring us. We no, just no, no. Make that very sponsor. clear. They're not sponsoring us. We just wanted to mention to you guys that there's a company out there that's taking gaming as a lifestyle very seriously. Yeah, and it's weird because you kind of look at a lot of the other peripheral manufacturers. You look at Mad Cats, and it's just garbage, right? It's, it's just like, we're going to make something as cheap as possible because gamers are cheap. Right, it's insulting. Yeah. Um, but this is different. So this is the Astro A40 audio system, yeah. which I've never seen anything quite like this. But it's crazy. Yeah. It's fucking nuts. Like, we're, we've been playing with this, and it's just, it's designed in so many ways 
to be great to, for gaming for for gamers in general. Where it, so, like you know, you can wear it. I mean, it looks a little silly right now. Yeah, but I mean, you can wear it for like hours and hours and hours. And it's one of those over the ear style style things. Yeah. So it actually covers. But not only that, the best part about it is like I've always wanted. You know, like okay, explain what we do when we play Xbox Live together while our wives are asleep. We always have to. Well, <laughs> it sucks. I'll do this. Well, if we're playing at night, I will yeah. put on my Xbox headset. Yeah. And then you can't do your game audio through the Xbox no. headset. So I'll take another pair of headsets, put, it put them over my <laughs> fucking Xbox headset, and that's how I play. <laughs> and it's like it's kind of choking me because it's I, terrible. It's really bad. So this is like one of like there's a few other problems. There's Logitech. There's a couple other ones, but this actually incorporates yeah. into the audio system the uh, Xbox microphone. So you plug in your plug Xbox. In. This goes from the Xbox controller into the thing. You can change like you can actually amp between game and voice. So if people are talking too much, you just turn it all the way to game. You can change the volume independently. Yeah. Or if the audio is too, like for Left 4 Dead, when the audio is really loud, I actually turn the volume down, but I turn the mix the up, up so I can actually hear people. Yep. Um, and it's, the inputs are actually ridiculous. And this <laughs> is fucking huge. I love right. this shit. So if you go to a LAN <laughs> oh, party yeah. and you want to have a private LAN, you got two of these things. Boom. Take this off. <laughs> jack it into your buddy's... And get right. another one and then slot it in. Slot it in up to four of them in a row. Yeah. And then you've got five, actually. Five in a row, and you've got a you've got a private network of voice. Yes. Built in. You build your own fucking voice network outside of the the the, uh, it's the land. Totally network. separate from yeah. all the game audio. So one of the things that that, that so the thing is they're targeting more of the major league gaming set for yeah. the most part because that's I think that's where all the money is at this point because yeah. these things are not cheap. They're not cheap. That's one of the problems with it. I mean, the, like some of the quality aspects. Some, are, yeah, like, some of the quality aspects here is that. I'm actually resting these like this. Yeah. Like, if you're walking around, you can actually rest them right here. You can take off these face plates, <laughs> get them customized, say, like, noob tube and shit. Oh, we totally need to we do totally that. We totally got to do that. And then, and then, if you want your headset on one side or the other. Yeah. Wait, wait I want it on the other side. I want it on the other side. Oh, let me just fucking unjack it <laughs> and jack it in over here. Yeah. It's just like the entire thing is modular. You take it apart. You put yeah. it back together. It's made really quality. Yeah, and the other thing, too, uh, the other cool feature I like, too, is it actually has an optical in as well as a coax in. So I can plug my PS3 into one end yes. and my Xbox into the other yes. and actually get – oh, yeah, we didn't even freaking mention it. It actually has Dolby Digital Headphone, yeah. and it takes – it's 5.1. So you actually can hear everything that's going on. 5.1 surround on headphones. So so anyway. So anyway, it's, so it's a cool we product. Really I mean, we really like it. Um, but it's, the best thing is, is we talk to them. So it's a little expensive. It's a little expensive. Uh, it's two hundred and fifty for the whole set. Yeah, which is a it's lot to ask significant for. Significant <laughs> for a fucking headset, right? Yes. But the thing is, is it's gonna be pretty much the best headset of you've ever used. But we yeah. went and talked to them. We're like, hey, we love your stuff. Yep. This is really expensive. Uh, we want to make it a little easier for new tubers because new tubers, I mean, predominantly they're pretty young for the right. most part, right? But but it turns Could out you do something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it turns easier. out that they watch the show, yeah. and they're like, uh, you know, we can give all of your viewers the industry discount, Shh. the industry discount, Shh. like fifteen percent off. So yes. anyway, they just said, go to the website, type in noob tube, n o o b t o b. Yeah, the all discount. lowercase or all uppercase. I think yeah. try all uh, uppercase. That yeah. definitely works. So they'll give you 15% off. We, we highly recommend them. We both have a set now. We love them. Yeah, so. we love them. And they also do a couple of other interesting gaming things. They do a gig bag. Do you remember, remember that? Yes. So they do a gig bag for Guitar Hero where it holds two guitars and actually... It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and then they, like, then I don't they know who have would a travel bag this. that holds your 360. And with controllers. Like all your controllers with yeah. all the other shit. I mean, like, they're building this stuff where it's like, as we go forward and gaming is legitimate lifestyle, yes. not just like some nerdy pastime. No. With quality equipment. No. That, I, I, you know the thing is, like, you know what they need to do? They need to make a gaming arcade stick at some mm, point, hopefully, because mm, mm. I need one of those really mm -hmm. badly. And Fuck yeah. Uh, yeah, probably some sort of seating thing. I like the seating. I like the you know seating I mean? idea, like that. And I really like the idea of building an entertainment console that's totally wired up for internet, power, and cooling. Ooh. Fucking huge. Those yeah. things are. And soundproofing. Yes. <laughs> fucking just make it so it's just all wrapped in foam. <laughs> Can you imagine a fucking like they make the, the Astro Egg? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because it's just like you put in, you, you shut the door in the Xbox, you can't even hear it. Yeah, that would be. Oh, oh, you mean for the uh, for the Xbox? Soundproof the shit inside. No, no, I'm saying like soundproof you, like oh, yeah? everything. You know, yeah, what that'd I mean? be cool. You're just like the wife's outside. Yeah. Hello. 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 No. Yeah. So, so anyhow, this is really cool stuff. Check it out. We love the shit out of those headphones. So um, next up, the road to ten thousand. So we are currently so last week when we actually discussed this particular little uh, thing that we're doing, we were at nine thousand and eighty-four, yeah. I believe. 
So in one week, we got 400 more <laughs> subscriptions. So we told you guys, by Christmas, as yes. our Christmas gift to us, please, we want 10,000 subscribers to our channel. Now we have 9,489. Okay, we're close. 500 more people. If you're watching this right now, just go and subscribe to our channel. We promise that we'll be this funny every week. We, we hope. And uh, not only that, <laughs> tell your friends about the show. We will um, insult you know. every game you've ever loved, and yes. you will write us angry messages on YouTube, <laughs> and it'll be nice. It'll be like a, a, you know, like a dysfunctional family. Yeah. Sure, I will sure. be you and you'll pretend that you fell down the stairs <laughs> you know just like home yes <laughs> <laughs> so please do that for us that would be awesome yes um yes oh hey so we're also so now that with the christmas season coming up we're oh, actually yeah. going to be taking a little bit of break mm. probably a two-week hiatus while we're out in the boot uh for all you canadians out there um <laughs> so we want you uh to send in your call-in messages please. because we're gonna have to do a bunch of shows in a row um and some of them are gonna be call-in shows we want really good uh really good insightful questions interesting questions yeah um you know sing us a song you know whatever blow something up melt it <laughs> down beat somebody up do whatever like mail us some funny videos and we're gonna we'll put them on the call-in show yeah and audio works too so if you want to call call the call the 1-800 number call that too. yeah we just so need a please, bunch please send in good stuff Community news. Okay, so there's a bunch of so this is a thread that Kid Father sets up every week. So you, this is the thing. So people go to our community and they say, you know, it's really intimidating. I don't know what's going there's on. There's so much there now. It's gotten so big. It's yeah. it's a little scary. It's hard to find your way around. But well, what Kid Father does every week on Sunday, he goes and like looks for all the big threads, all yeah. the big awesome events that go on, and they basically list them all. So list you know them where all. to go. Yeah. So he he basically makes the the legend yeah. for NoobTube the key, as it were. He is our cartographer, yes. so to speak. So there's a couple of cool threads that we want everybody to check out. There's the member appreciation appreciation thread by Demi V Man. Yeah. So um, what he's doing, he's actually going, okay, everybody go and post the two members that make your noob tube life complete. That's cool. You know, that do good things for yeah. you. Like why you know why they help yeah. you out. It's it's really touching. That's awesome. I'm watching him like, oh like something's like, oh thank you Locke for helping me get active with with the community and doing all this stuff. It's it's really We have such good people on our oh, forums. Yeah. It is such good people. Um, and then the other one is that there's a December mod matchup. <laughs> so they're so, playing Left for Dead with the mods. Yes, so go to the forums, go find because the dates, the, the times have not been uh, actually set up yet. Mm. But go there and check it out. And basically, what they're going to do is they're going to sign up and they have a bunch of rooms set up for Left for Dead. Yes, it's going to be awesome with yes. versus mode. Yes, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm going to be all over that shit. Yeah. Saturday, um, it'll be a Saturday. It will be. And then next. Yeah, we missed out on last week's episode. Um, yep. Hopefully, you know, we'll keep getting posted. And uh, thank you, Mailtoad, for setting it up. And who's the winner? The winner this week is Afro Joe 16. Ah, uh, betrayal. Betrayal. We, we, we came back. It doesn't matter. They're going to be shoops in front of it anyway. Yeah, but. that's true. <laughs> You're right. But yeah. So we 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 uh, it's it's about us abandoning our poor box wine because for a couple weeks we were just drinking the bottle shit. That's right. But we're back. We're back, son. We've got we got we'll our have box it up somewhere. Yes, maybe. No. Yeah. Let's so see. we we've got our box. We we're back to old faithful. Yes. Um. And old faithful Cabernet. That's right. At this that's point. right. Bota box. Bota as it were. box. So thank you guys for doing the shoops. We really appreciate it. It's it's fun every week. We get user and I laugh so much. Oh, and we just go through and just look at all the different shit. That people do laugh and cry, get laugh angry. Laugh and cry, yeah. It's some some of them vow to me. hunt you down. <laughs> yeah, look up your IP address. And, trace, <laughs> That's right. and then, last but not least, member of the week. Member of the week. Yes, Crimson sets us up every week to actually go and recognize yes. somebody who does something good for the community. And this week it is recursive. Yeah, you're right. We have recursion, as it were. <laughs> um, if those of you are studying computer science, the rest of you are bored. So yes. <laughs> Cade Father. <laughs> yes, for the community news story, he sets up every week. He's been yeah. like badass. He's been he's been like a madman. He does yeah. that and he does the new releases for with all of the box art. So you are a hero, Cade Father. Rule. Salute to you. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Uh, member of the week. Member of the week. Each week we feature audio and video voicemails on the show. If you have a burning question, request, or a funny story, please give us a ring. Yes, and you can contact us toll free at 888-233-8480 or send us an audio or video. Video would be nice. Mm, video file to feedback at noobtube.com. Don't comment and say where do I send it it's feedback at noobtube.com <laughs> also send us video responses on YouTube we love those yes video questions are preferred we will play those first most of the time but all questions need to be under one minute to be featured on the show you know who you are yes and don't forget the yow yow first up and no yob yob no, gets like yeah. a negative yeah. one yeah damn you stupid HP 1704 HP. stupid yob um, so first up <laughs> is is <sighs> come shot wait what Hey, what's up, Noob Tube? This is a uh, come shot from the forums. That's C O M E S H O T, not the nasty way. But uh, here's a little rap for you guys. You know, I figure I'd throw down. Whatnot, whoever wants to challenge me, let's do this shit. 
It's new tube, they fit so nice, just like new, new shoes. shoes, leaving you blues clues, thousands of new views. Use up when Tobin, gaming with community, amazing with Unity shit games, now have eulogies. Back to the basics, playing at its greatest, peak hour to PK power, just like the ancients. NES, Game Boy, down to the Genesis, the tube says it's law, like in the book of Leviticus. Population over 9,000, other critics will be given it, history's a Production value. That I like the uh, little the, echo action going yeah, on with there. With the echo, I'm telling yeah, you. I know it's pretty good, but um, I think the bad version is pretty close to the not so bad version of Cum Shot. You might want to pick a different handle. Yeah, I would definitely, of all the handles out there, I would say Cum Shot is probably not. Is that like? <laughs> is is does that mean also something else? Like, please email us if there's <laughs> yeah, like. It's so. like, oh no, Cum Shot. It also means like. Really good at basketball. I made sure. the cum shot. You know, it's like oh, maybe it's like a craps term, or like I made the cum line or something. Because that's how you. Yeah. There is no world in which cum shot doesn't mean a girl is now blinking real fast. <laughs> <laughs> or pearl eye patch. Oh, oh, why did you do that? You didn't warn me. <laughs> it was like you didn't want to swallow. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's you terrible. asked for a pearl necklace. <laughs> You got an eye patch instead. You got a pearl eye patch instead. <laughs> God damn this it. Is terrible. Right. Yes. So next up is Top Hat 666 oh. with a, a little bit of news for us. Hmm. Hello, Tobin Yuzo. It's Top Hat 666 from the forums. I'm going to get straight to the point. Um, oh, this is a video I, I just found on, uh, on, on GameTrailers.com. And uh, I don't know if you'd be interested, but it, 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 it's just Uncharted 2. Yeah, looks like it's going to be based in some kind of, like, snowy or tundra environment. But still, Uncharted 2, announced. Yes. Fuck yes. Yow. Nice. Dude, Uncharted 2. But in the snow? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, the <sighs> thing is, it's one of those bullshit trailers where it's like, it's cool that they're making it, I'm very glad. Yeah. But you go and watch it, and it's like 10 seconds long, and there's no gameplay. Oh, it's so like, it's like by Beyond Good and Evil. Over yes, again. just oh. like that, Beyond Good and Evil. Where it's or like, God of War 3. Yeah. You know, I, I'm, I'm very happy when they make these games that I'm very excited about. But seriously, until there's gameplay in the trailer, yeah. who gives a shit? But you can hire anybody to make a movie. It's the thing is, like, like, are we really surprised? Uncharted sold pretty well. Yeah. It's a pretty damn good game. Of course they're going to make a sequel. Mm. What I want to know is what year? Is it going to be 2009 <laughs> or 2010? Yeah. Maybe, two, maybe Christmas 2009? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know, dude. It's pretty soon. You know, I'll wait. I mean, Uncharted is so far, in my opinion, the best PS3 game. Yeah. Best PS3 exclusive. It's PS3 exclusive. Yeah, definitely. Of, um, so I'm I w- I will wait for it. It was the uh, the uh, Tomb Raider killer on the PS3. <laughs> so <laughs> is Tomb Raider um, Underworld even on the uh, PS3? I'm not I think sure. it is. I, I think it is. I, I think, think it's it on all of them. So yeah. Uh, actually, I saw an ad for Tomb Raider Underworld. I shit you not on the DS. Yeah. What the fuck? Are you gonna play it? I kind of <laughs> want to now. I wonder if it's a different game. Like, I wonder if it's like one of these like branch development, or yeah. if it's just it can't be a port. No, right? it can't be the same fucking no, it can't, thing. It can be. Maybe it's like a side scroller two D thing. It, well, they they also did the Prince of Persia, so it's like Prince of Persia colon some other name, but they also have that for the DS too. Interesting. So, I mean, the, the new Tomb Raider was so fucking good. Maybe they did a good DS one too. Are you gonna ago. travel on, on the crew of Christmas? I am. I'm, I'm saving a bunch of DS games. That's for, a good point. Um, we should have like a special right after Christmas mobile edition. Where, I like, know. We were stuck on a goddamn plane. <laughs> for 20 hours yes, we next were to snowed some out crying bullshit baby I'm gonna finish Chrono Trigger <laughs> <laughs> and Dragon Quest 4 yes no, probably not but. probably not uh, um, oh Lethal Alaskan up, Lethal Alaskan's got some questions hmm. hey Tobin and Yuzo it's Lethal Alaskan up here from Anchorage, Alaska um, new to the forums um, I'm just calling to see um, have you guys gotten a plans to cha- chance to play Call of Duty World at War um, really great game I know Treyarch makes it Call of Duty 3 sucks, dick. But, uh, yeah, great game. You guys need to get out there and play it. Um, and also the new dashboard. What do you guys think of the dashboard? Do you like it? Do you like the new features and all that stuff? Um, it'd be cool playing on the show, man. Oh, yeah. Yow. Yeah. So, so we were talking talk, about, yeah. Yeah. Talk so, about the dashboard, but uh, so 
we've had some requests here for you to play some Call of Duty since you're I such know. a COD4 fan. I love COD4, but yeah. the thing is, the bad taste I had in my mouth after playing COD3, I'm just, I'm yeah, gun shy. it though, right? No, I, but the thing is, like, okay, I, you're right, I gotta try it, yeah. but it's like, I, I'm still trying to, like, every time I play any game, I'm looking at Dead Space and I'm looking at Fallout 3 and I'm like, you still haven't finished Dead Space? Dude, I'm on Chapter 9 now. <sighs> it's The thing is, when I play that game, yeah. I'm like, I get so, like, worked Amped up. up. Yeah. And this, I, have to, I can only play a chapter at a time. <laughs> Because right? I do it, it late at night. It is that good. And I turn off the like, lights and I put yeah. on my headphones yeah. and I'm like... Whoa. You play it right. Yeah. I play it right, right? Yeah. So it's just it's so like stressful for me. Oh, I can yeah. only do a little bit of time. So I've been doing Fallout <laughs> to kind of like cut it a bit. Yeah. Because that game's going to be like a 30-hour game, right? So it's just like I keep on doing that and going back. And now I'm playing Left 4 Dead a lot. So mm. like every night it's like, dude, we got an hour. Dude, okay. let's go do No Nor- Mercy. Let's do yeah. this. So all these games, I'm like, okay, I have all those games I, I know I enjoy playing. Yeah. And I have a game made by a company that, you that know you really don't like. fucked me in the ass last yeah. time in the round. That's true. So it's That's like, true. so well, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I think you'll get to it eventually. In the but next, in the month of December, I will get to it, whether yeah. we actually review it because we have the um, call in shows. Right. We'll see. So the week, after, the week after next, there's not very much coming out. So I'm hoping I can try Resistance 2 then. This yeah, week we is get, obviously yes. booked. Yes. Uh, Prince of Pers- with Prince of Persia and what else? Uh, I mean, I want to try a bunch of these, right? I want to try Mushroom Man. I want to try the other one. Oh, that's one. true. Yeah, uh, yeah. I could try Kingdom Hearts until I realize that I hate it. <laughs> and then next week is Persona 4. Yes. So yes, that's remember, right. Remember, we are, we are not professional gamers, so give us a little slack. Yeah. Um, we we will play try. as many as we can. But we will, we will play at some point within the next three months. Yes. <laughs> Call of Duty and Resistance 2. Absolutely, absolutely. I think that we are out for this time. I think we so, too. So, Yes. Yes, uh, all right, that's our show for the week. Please check out our website at noobtube.com and participate in our forum by clicking on the community tab at the p- top of the page. Yes. Everybody that comes and goes and like, and like joins, they're like, why didn't I join sooner? I know. Every single person Every is single just like, person. you know, I've come, I've started finding people to play games with, I met a bunch of cool people, I met my wife there, Yes. Uh, we I had a couple my threesomes, there, couple I found people that are nudist, we've gone out and hang out together with our capes and guns. Yes, and um, a, a few, you know, furries, but we don't like to talk about eh, them. Eh. You never, you know, we take all, tor- yes. all sorts. Um, and if you're watching this video on YouTube, this is a subscription button right over here. Also rate this video with five stars by clicking somewhere. It's moving around with all this widescreen on, on shit. On a kneecap, I'm not sure. but then you can just yeah. go on up if you I feel mean, like. my dick is hanging down my right leg right now if you want to touch my junk. Five stars. So, <laughs> that's all for this episode. I'm Tobin Kazire. <laughs> and I'm Yuzu Watanabe. Audio engineering is done by Range... Not in a nasty way. Strunk. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. We're out. Yeah. <laughs>